Question number 11. Imagine you need to create a knowledge base for a chatbot using Azure Language Service. Which three types of sources can you use to generate the question and answer pairs? Select all that apply. So I'm looking for three correct answers from the available options. You can pause the video to guess the right answer. The right answers are a web page, an existing FAQ document, and manually entered data. First, let's understand what is this Azure Language Service. Azure Language Service is a collection of AI-powered tools provided by Microsoft Azure that help developers create applications capable of understanding and processing natural language. These tools include text analytics, language understanding, and translation services, which can be used to build intelligent chatbots, automate text processing, and enable multilingual support. What you see as answers are some of the sources for generating these question answer pairs. So when creating these knowledge bases for chatbot, using Azure Language Service, you can use um, any of these following sources. Let's look at this one by one. What is a web page? Um, you can extract question and answer pairs from a content of a website what you share. Second is an existing FAQ document. So if you already have a document that contain frequently answered question and their corresponding answers, you can utilize that as a source of knowledge. The third is manually entered data. Additionally, you can manually input the question and answer pairs into the knowledge base. You cannot directly use an image or an audio file to import a knowledge base. That is not possible. Some of the use cases for chatbot with Azure Language Service include customer support, internal employee support, or sales assistant. Let's look at a real world example. So an online retailer can use a chatbot powered with Azure Language Service to handle customer inquiries. The chatbot answers questions about their order status, shipping times, product availability, and return policies. This automated support enhances the shopping experience by providing instant responses and freeing up human agent to address more complex issues. Let's look at question number 12. Imagine you are developing an application and want to add a feature that allows users to receive help with common tasks through a generative AI model. Which option would you use to integrate this functionality? Let's look at the available four options, see if you can come up with the right answer. The correct answer is Copilots. So what are Copilots? Copilots are advanced AI assistants integrated into application, designed to help users complete common tasks effectively. These assistants leverage generative AI models to understand and respond to user queries, offering guidance, suggestions, and solutions. Especially, Copilot acts as an intelligent helper that can facilitate various activities by processing and interpreting natural language inputs. So let's look at some of the real world example. First, what is GitHub Copilot? GitHub Copilot is one of the most popular example I can use here. Um, it is an AI powered code completion tool integrated into development environment. It helps programmers by suggesting code snippets, completing functions, and even writing entire blocks of code based on the context. This significantly accelerates the coding process. Second real-world example is Microsoft uh, Copilot. Microsoft Office Copilot assists users with applications like Word, Excel, and Outlook. It can help draft document, analyze data, generate presentations, and manage emails. For instance, in Word, it can help create report by suggesting relevant content and formatting. Question number 13. Imagine you are configuring a generative AI service to ensure it operates responsibly. Where would you implement content filters to 
effectively suppress inappropriate prompt and responses? It's a very important question. Let's look at uh, the available options. The correct answer is safety system. The safety system layer includes platform level configuration and capabilities that help mitigate harm. For example, Azure OpenAI service include support for content filters that apply criteria to suppress prompt and responses based on the classification of content into four security levels. These levels are safe, low, medium and high. And for four categories of potential harm, these categories include hate, sexual violence and self-harm. So let's learn more about content filters in generative AI. What is content filter? Content filters are a mechanism designed to detect and suppress inappropriate or harmful content generated by AI model. These filters work by evaluating the content against predefined criteria and blocking or modifying responses that fall into categories deemed unsafe or unsuitable. So let's look at some of the use cases or real world example of content filtering. So social media platforms can use this content filtering to protect users from hate speech, cyberbullying or explicit content. Let's look at how Facebook uses content filtering. They use content filters to detect and remove posts that violate community standards related to hate speech, violence and explicit content. Question number 14. Consider the following scenario. You are setting up system messages to define the context and expectations for a generative AI model. This helps the model understand how to respond to prompts. Which methods would be used to set these system messages? Let's look at the available options. Pause the video, see if you can come up with the right answer. The correct answer is system messages. So what are system messages? System messages are instructions or guidelines set for generative AI model to help it understand the context and expectations for responding to prompts. They act like a roadmap guiding the AI on how to handle different types of queries, ensuring that the model's responses align with the intended use. Some of the benefits of system message include clarity, consistency, safety, and efficiency. So let's look at a real world example. If you look at e-commerce recommendation, Platforms like Amazon use generative AI model guided by system messages to recommend products based on users' preferences and browsing history, improving the overall shopping experience. Question number 15. Imagine you are responsible for developing a generative AI solution that must adhere to ethical guidelines. What is the initial step you should take to ensure the solution is responsibly designed? Let's look at the available options. The correct answer is identify potential harms. Identifying potential harm is the first stage when planning a responsible generative AI solution. When planning a responsible generative AI solution, the initial step is to identify potential harms. This involves understanding the various ways in which AI system could pose risk or cause unintended consequences. Identifying potential harms allow developers to address them early in the design process ensuring that the solution adheres to ethical guidelines and operates safely. Question number 16. Which two capabilities are examples of a GPT model? Each correct answer present a complete solution. Scan through the list of available options. The correct answers are creating natural language and understanding natural language. First, what is a GPT model? GPT means Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. So GPT models are type of artificial intelligence designed to understand and generate human-like text. These models have been trained on vast amounts of data and can predict what comes next in a sequence of words. 
making them highly versatile and powerful tools for various applications. Some of the capabilities of GPT models are create natural language, understand natural language, detect specific dialects of a language, synthesize speech, and generate closed captions. So let's look at what is create natural language mean. GPT models can generate coherent and contextually appropriate text based on the input they receive. And what is understanding natural language mean? These models can comprehend the meaning behind the text, allowing them to respond accurately to queries and conversations. Question number 17. Imagine you are tasked with developing an image processing solution that leverages DAL-E as a generative AI model. Which of the following is not a capability provided by DAL-E? So let's look at the available options and the correct answer is image description. So first and foremost, let's go and understand what is DAL-E. DAL-E is an advanced generative AI model developed by OpenAI. It is designed to create images based on natural language prompts. By interpreting detailed textual descriptions, DALI generates corresponding visual representations. This powerful tool leverages deep learning techniques to produce highly realistic and imaginative images. Some of the capabilities of DALI include image generation, image editing, and image variation. Image description is not the capability included in the DALI model. So let's look at what is image generation. DALI can create entirely new image from scratch based on given text description. Second is image editing. DALI allows modification of an existing image. Third is image variations. DALI can produce several variations of a particular image based on the same or slightly altered prompts. These three are the features and this is not a feature or a capability of DALI. Question number 18. Imagine a scenario where you want to generate image from descriptive text inputs. Which AI model would you use for this task? Let's look at the option. This would be quite simple because we just seen an example on the previous question on what answer is. Let's populate the answer. The correct answer is DALI. I explained what DALI is. DALI is a type of generative AI model designed specifically to create images from natural language description. Imagine you describe a scene or an object in words. DALI can take those words and generate a picture that matches your description. So if you compare DALI with GPT model like GPT-4 or GPT-4 or O3, these GPT models are brilliant at understanding and generating text and code. DALI is made to create images. Question number 19. Imagine you are working with a model that converts text into numerical vectors. This model can be used to search, classify and compare sources of text for similarities. Select the term that best describes this type of model. Let's look at the options available here. So you are trying to understand which model can be used to search, classify and compare sources. The correct answer is embeddings. So what is embeddings? Embeddings are a form of technology used in artificial intelligence to convert text into numerical vectors. Think of it as a way for computers to understand and analyze words and sentences by translating them into format they can work with. Embeddings help in searching, classifying and comparing text sources for similarity. Some of the benefits of embeddings include enhanced search capabilities, improved classification, similarity, comparison, etc. So the use cases of embeddings are search engines, content recommendation and sentiment analysis. So if you look at a real world example, Google uses embeddings to understand the context and intent behind search queries providing users with more accurate and relevant search results. 
Another example is Netflix employs embeddings to analyze viewing habits and recommend shows and movies that users are likely to enjoy based on their past behavior. Question number 20. Imagine you are developing a chat application and you need to integrate an AI service that can facilitate conversational interactions and generate text-based responses. Which type of service would you choose? Let's look at the available options. The correct answer is Azure AI Bot Service. So what is Azure AI Bot Service? Azure AI Bot Service is a cloud-based platform provided by Microsoft that enables developers to build, deploy, and manage intelligent bots. These bots are capable of engaging in conversations with users, understanding natural language, and providing relevant responses. The service integrates with various AI tools and framework to create seamless and interactive chatbot experiences. Some of the use cases of Azure AI bot service include customer support bot, sales and marketing bots, internal communications or for education scenario. 